the YouTube channel. You live liberation played a crucial role in shaping Tulane history. Over a span of a thousand years, from 900 AD to about 19 AD, Berber migrations from North Africa to Senegal region brought the Tulane into the spotlight. These migrations led to encounters with various African tribes, resulting in the Fulani conquering less powerful groups. Despite the complexities and debates surrounding their origins, the Fulani people's genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin. Historical and archaeological records support the Fulani's presence in Western Africa since the 5th century AD, with rock paintings in the Tassili and Ajda indicating proto fulani cultural traits. The Fulani language, known as Fula, exhibits linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber, reflecting interactions with North Africa. Fula categorized within the Niger Congo language family, has multiple dialects associated with different regions such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Mazina, Sokoto, and Adamula. As the Fulani people face the challenges of modernization and the risk of losing their nomadic identity, they grappled with adapting to changing times. The clash between their traditional way of life and the demands of an evolving world raised questions about cultural preservation and the future trajectory of the Fulani people. In summary, the Fulani people's narrative unfolds through the lenses of migration conquest, religious transformation, and cultural adaptation, creating a dynamic and multifaceted story, deeply rooted in the history of West Africa. Numbering around 38 million, the Fulani are spread across West Africa, with significant populations in Nigeria, Senegal, Mali, Cameroon, Niger, and other countries. The Fulani have a long history, with records tracing their presence back to the Senegambia region around a thousand years ago. Their nomadic lifestyle and mastery of cattle had contributed to the rise of the Empire of Ghana. The Fulani people's dynamic narrative extends beyond political and religious realms, encompassing social structures, cultural practices, and their interactions with neighboring communities. The Fulani's societal fabric is woven with a deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos adorning their bodies. Notably, the blackish color of a Fulani woman's lips, often a result of hair or tattooing, serves as a distinctive feature, reflecting the importance placed on aesthetics. Beyond the adornments, the Fulani people maintain a strong sense of pride, evident in their nomadic herding lifestyle. Cattle, the most prized possessions in Fulani society, serve as a measure of wealth. However, this centrality of cattle has sparked conflicts, particularly with local farmers, as the herds occasionally graze on their fields, revealing the complexities of coexistence between different livelihoods in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, 
such as spear duels marking the coming of age for young boys. Showcase. The Fiori's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness. While such rituals have historical significance, some have faced legal restrictions due to safety concerns. These cultural practices underscore the Fiori's commitment to preserving their unique heritage even as external influences and modernization pose challenges to their traditional way of life. As modes of transportation modernize across West Africa, the Fulani face the risk of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages become a necessity presenting a stark contrast to the historical lifestyle. This shift raises questions about the preservation of Fulani culture and the potential impacts on their societal dynamics. The Fulani's respect for a strict caste system further shapes their social structure. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves of wealthy Fulani. This caste system influences various aspects of their lives, including social interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. In the realm of religion, the Fulani's adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity. The Maliki school of Islam dives, their religious practices, encompassing obligations such as praying five times a day, reciting the Quran, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca, and almsgiving. This religious foundation has not only shaped their spiritual belief, but has also influenced their political and social structures throughout history. The Fulani people, numbering approximately 38 million, have carved a distinctive niche in West African history and culture. Their origins, though the subject of scholarly debate, intertwine with the Senegambia region, suggesting a deep-rooted connection to the West African landscape over a millennium. Historical and genetic evidence now leans towards an indigenous West African origin, challenging earlier speculations about North African or Arabic ancestry. The Fiori's dynamic journey unfolds against the backdrop of social, political, and economic complexities. Their expansion eastward and westward in the 16th century marked a pivotal moment, leading to the emergence of settled and nomadic factions. Spearheaded by leaders like Tembrano Coley and later Asman Dan Fodio, the Fiori's influence extended across regions culminating in the establishment of empires and jihad states in the 17th and 18th centuries. Religion has been a cornerstone of Fulani identity, with Islam shaping their spiritual, social, and political landscapes. The adoption of the Maliki school and adherence to Sunni Muslim practices illustrate a deep-seated commitment to their faith. The rise of empires led by Fulani leaders, known as the Nairs, mirrored the intertwining of religious and political authority. The Fulani's nomadic heritage, characterized by cattle herding and extensive trade routes, has not only shaped their economic practices, 
but has also contributed significantly to the broader West African economic fabric. The clash with settled agricultural communities over resources reflects the complexities inherent in balancing traditional lifestyles with evolving societal norms. Cultural practices, such as intricate tattoos and spear duels, serve as vivid expressions of human identity. The adherence to a strict caste system adds another layer to their social fabric, delineating roles and statuses within their community. In the face of modernization, the Fulani grapple with the potential erosion of their nomadic identity, raising questions about the preservation of their unique cultural heritage. The Fulani people's cultural resilience is further evidenced by their linguistic diversity and ties to both North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. The Fulani language, known as Fula, exhibits a unique blend of influences, with long words from Arabic and Berber reflecting their interactions with North Africa. The linguistic ties between different Fulani dialects, such as Futa Toro, Kuta Jalan, Muzina, Sokoto, and Adamuma, underscore the unity within their diversity in the historical migration patterns that shaped their linguistic landscape. Despite the challenges posed by external influences and changing lifestyles, the Fulani's commitment to education and linguistic diversity remains evident. Most Fulani, being Muslims, possess the ability to read and write Arabic, and many are fluent in either French or English, depending on the colonial history of their respective regions. This linguistic versatility reflects their adaptability to different cultural and historical contexts. The Fulani people's nomadic past, steeped in cattle herding and trade, has left an indelible mark on West African history. As they traverse the vast plains of Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Guinea, they established numerous trade routes, contributing to the economic landscape of the region. Their interactions in local markets not only facilitated trade, but also served as channels for the exchange of news, spreading information across West Africa. The Fiori's impact on the broader West African society is undeniable, and their cultural distinctiveness is manifested in a strict caste system that has endured over the centuries. The nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, and descendants of slaves each play specific roles within Fiori society. Maintaining a social order that reflects historical norms and values. In the face of contemporary challenges, including the risk of losing their nomadic identity, and clashes over resources with other ethnic groups, the Fulani people remain resilient. Their ability to adapt while preserving core cultural elements, speaks to the strength of their heritage. The fusion of traditional practices, such as spear duels and intricate body adornments, with the realities of modern life pains, a nuanced picture of a people navigating the complexities of cultural continuity in a changing world. 
as the Huey people continue to evolve within the contemporary landscape. Their story serves as a testament to the intricate interplay between tradition and modernity. The preservation of the linguistic, cultural, and religious heritage becomes not only a testament to their rich history, but also a guide for navigating the challenges of an ever-changing global landscape. The Fiori's journey, marked by migration, conquest, and adaptation, contributes a vibrant thread to the diverse tapestry of West African cultures. The Fiori people, with a rich and complex history, have been the subject of much scholarly intrigue. Scholars generally agree that the ancestors of the Fiori in the Western Sudan originated from Futa Toro, and linguistic evidence supports the historical movement of the Fiori from West to East. Yusuman, an influential figure in Fiori history, is described by the Fold Murray as inspired by God, extremely learned, possessing a likable personality, and a persuasive preacher. This chapter delves into aspects of pastoral, social, and political life during the Fiori Empire and examines social changes following the establishment of the Protectorate. The Fulani people's dynamic narrative extends beyond political and religious realms, encompassing social structures, cultural practices, and their interactions with neighboring communities. The Fulani societal fabric is woven with a deep appreciation for beauty, expressed through intricate tattoos adorning their bodies. Notably, the blackish color of a Fulani woman's lips, often a result of henna or tattooing, serves as a distinctive feature, reflecting the importance placed on aesthetics. Beyond the adornments, the Fulani people maintain a strong sense of pride, evident in their nomadic herding lifestyle. Cattle the most prized possessions in Fulani society serve as a measure of wealth. However, this centrality of cattle has sparked conflicts, particularly with local farmers, as the herds occasionally graze on their fields, revealing the complexities of coexistence between different livelihoods in West Africa. Traditional ceremonies, such as spear duels marking the coming of age for young boys, showcase the Fiori's emphasis on bravery and fearlessness. While such rituals have historical significance, some have faced legal restrictions due to safety concerns. These cultural practices underscore the Fiori's commitment to preserving their unique heritage, even as external influences and modernization pose challenges to their traditional way of life. As modes of transportation modernize across West Africa, the Fiori face the risk of losing their nomadic identity. Settlements in farms and villages become a necessity presenting a stark contrast to their historical lifestyle. This shift raises questions about the preservation of Fulani culture and the potential impacts on their societal dynamics. The Fulani's respect for a strict caste system further shapes their social structure. Divided into nobility, merchants, blacksmiths, 
and descendants of slaves of wealthy Germany. This caste system influences various aspects of their lives, including social interactions, economic roles, and inherited statuses. In the realm of religion, the Fiori's adoption of Islam as their core faith plays a central role in their identity. The Maliki school of Islam guides their religious practices, encompassing obligations such as praying five times a day, reciting the Quran, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca, and almsgiving. This religious foundation has not only shaped their spiritual beliefs, but has also influenced their political and social structures throughout history. The Fulani people, numbering around 38 million and spread across 18 African countries, face the challenges of balancing tradition and modernity. Their story, rooted in migration, conquest, and cultural adaptation, continues to unfold, revealing a resilient people, navigating the complexities of a changing world while holding onto the core elements that define their identity. The Fulani, as the world's largest nomadic group, boasts a diverse pogal, ashen resulting from conquests, and the spread of Islam. Speculation surrounds their origins, with debates on North African or Arabic ancestry. Recent studies suggest a mixture of nomads from both North and Sub-Saharan Africa. The Fulani played a pivotal role in the spread of Islam through jihads, becoming a significant political and economic force in West Africa. The Fulani people's journey through history is marked by intricacies and diverse narratives that intertwin with the rich tapestry of West African culture. As they traversed the Sahel grasslands from Senegal to Sudan in the 16th century, the Fulani's nomadic lifestyle shaped their identity. Despite their small numbers, nomadic groups expanded due to the availability of grazing lands leading to the emergence of distinct factions, the settled Fulani and the nomadic Fulani. In the 16th century, Tenguala Koli, a nomadic Fulani leader, rose against the Songhai Empire's edict limiting grazing space. His rebellion, though he perished in battle, spurred the Fulani to conquer regions northwest of the Jalan Mountains, establishing new lines of kingship. By the 18th century, the Fulani's power extended southward and eastward, bringing them into conflict with the Oil Empire. This era saw the rise of leaders like Usman Dan Fodio, he sought to reform Muslim practices, leading to the establishment of centralized Fulani empires. Religiously, the Fulani embraced Islam, following the Maliki school and adhering to Sunni Muslim practices. Their political dominance grew steadily in the 17th and 18th centuries culminating in the Fulani, empire founded by Usman Dan Fodio, which included smaller states like the Fauta Jalan and the Messina. These regions later became known as the Takriya to the Arabs. Migration played a crucial role in shaping Fulani history. Over a span of a thousand years, from 100, 
AD to about 19 AD. Berber migrations from North Africa to Senegal region brought the Fulani into the spotlight. These migrations led to encounters with various African tribes, resulting in the Fulani conquering less powerful groups. Despite the complexities and debates surrounding their origins, the Fulani people's genetic evidence suggests an indigenous West African origin. Historical and archaeological records support the Fulani's presence in Western Africa since the 5th century AD, with rock paintings in the Tassili and Ajta indicating proto fulani cultural traits. The Fulani language, known as Fula, exhibits linguistic ties with Arabic and Berber, reflecting interactions with North Africa. Fula, categorized within the Niger Congo language family, has multiple dialects associated with different regions such as Futa Toro, Futa Jalan, Muzina, Sokoto, and Adamura. As the Fulani people face the challenges of modernization and the risk of losing their nomadic identity, they grappled with adapting to changing times dodge.